All right, what do you want for all of it, Mike? Okay, you let's let's do this. Just being really, really conservative. What do you think you can get out of it? It's Monday morning and I have about 10 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First two sales I actually had in my storage unit over here, so I went ahead and pulled those. This one I got at a place called Overstock Guys, uh, locally here in Cincinnati. They sell Amazon returns. Uh, and I could see that this was new, sealed, had never been used or opened or anything. And it sold for $39.99 plus shipping and I paid two bucks for it. This is an old Rubik's Cube manual. I got this in a big lot of paper ephemera stuff last year, so I don't have much into it. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Viewers Jeffrey and Debbie bought this, and they're giving it to their son Jeffrey. So guys, thank you so much for the support, and I really hope he likes this. All right, next is back here in F2. This is a Black & Decker Firestorm saw blade. Got this at a garage sale for pretty cheap. I bundled a bunch of stuff with this. So I might have a dollar or two into it. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And this is going out to viewer named Keith. Keith, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, next is in C2. This is a Pocahontas doll. I just got this at a garage sale last weekend. I paid $7 for it. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Once again, it's a viewer sale. Vanessa bought this. Thank you so much, Vanessa. I hope you like the doll. All right, next order has a handful of items. First is here in E1. These are a pair of King Griffey Jr. starting lineup figures. Uh, didn't sell for a whole lot individually, so I decided to pair them together. And we got a couple down here in C5. More King Griffey Jr. stuff. Uh, let's see, here we got Stadium Stars. He's right there in the Kingdom. And we got another Stadium Stars. And lastly is another King Griffey Jr. This is a bobblehead. I just recently picked this up uh, in a bulk buy. I think I've got like six bucks into it. One buyer bought all this stuff right here. It sold for $49.96 plus shipping. And I will just combine it all in one box and send them a refund for the difference. Those are all going out to a viewer named Kevin. Kevin, thank you for the support. It means a lot. All right, next thing is down here in F5. I pulled these out of my uh, storage units that I just recently bought. Probably down here at the bottom somewhere. Where are they at? Here they are. These are vintage champion spark plugs new old stock the pair sold for $19.99 free shipping next is down here at a6 this is an old norton utilities antivirus new in the plastic had this listed for like 10 bucks or best software somebody sent me an offer of seven dollars plus shipping and i accepted next is over here in d2 this is a golf hat new with the tags we got less than a dollar under this it sold for 7.99 plus shipping all right last thing we're pulling is in b3 this is a Greg Maddox card, graded 10. I had this listed for like $20 or best offer. Someone sent best offer of $15 free shipping, and I accepted. Let's go on to your name, Eric. Eric, thank you for the business. I hope you like the card. All right, guys, I got all my eBay orders shipped out, and I am now headed to do a bulk buy. I got to come to my garage sale two weeks ago uh, by the name of Mike, and he said he had a bunch of video games and consoles and stuff he was looking to move. So I'm headed over there now to check them all out. Appreciate you bringing all these out. Oh, I know, big deal. Well, I live pretty far out east, so Do you? Said, yeah, it makes it okay. kind of hard too. All right, works out pretty good. I, you know, I can bring it here and people yeah, just didn't look at it. And here's what I got. All right. I don't know if you're interested in any of it. Just a little variety of everything, really. You know, I tried to put the uh, I never hooked anything up. I hooked power to it and I made sure it powered up. That makes sense. It didn't, I got rid of it. So do you not really do much eBay? I don't. My daughter does. I work for an auctioneer. So I take it all back to the auction. I resell it there. Yeah. This stuff doesn't sell. Yeah, this stuff, you know, I deal with more of a Pretty far at ease. More, they're looking for tools and antiques and yeah, they're not looking for this that stuff. type of this stuff. This doesn't bring anything. This yeah. all come out of. I buy a lot of storage units, a lot. So this stuff all comes out of storage units. I pack it in the basement. And I'm tired of pushing it around. And I just like it. Oh wow. Big unit, big unit, big unit. 
to open up. It was it was full of games, so I know it's probably more in there. Yeah, there's a market for it, especially since everybody's been stuck at home. It seems like the values have gone up a little bit. You know, even in the bad times, there's money to be made. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> you just got to shift a little bit, you know? Yeah, you got to be able to shift with it and what you want to do. You don't have to pull it all out I if you don't want to. I never was a gaming to. guy, so I don't know about all this stuff. So I can tell you about the tools and farm equipment. I don't know really about this stuff. Let me see. I mean, is this something you're interested in? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if you're pulling this out if you're not. Yeah, I'd probably be interested in just buying the whole lot. <laughs> yeah. I sold a lot of Nintendo already. Did you? Yeah. I don't know if those have any. Tons of Nintendo games. The older ones. I, I do have more at home. I do you really? Yeah. Wow. I don't, I don't know how much more. I know I was looking around. Oh, me and a cat got in that one. It's probably fine. Mouse. I looked around and there was more stuff. Jeez, Pete. There was more. I just didn't bring it all. Here we go. Here's some more. I don't know if these sell better than Mario Brothers. You got a lot of it, man. I got more. PlayStation, PlayStation 3 stuff sold off. Oh, uh, yeah. It sells. PlayStation 3 stuff. everything yeah all right what do you want for all of it mike okay you let's let's do this just being really really conservative what do you think you can get out of it just being i was conservative thinking. yeah i was doing some math in my head as i was going and i think conservatively i could probably sell everything for 800 bucks 800 yeah You think you could get that much out of it? I think so, yeah. Is two fifty too much? No, that's perfect for me. Yeah, that leaves plenty of meat on the you, bone. I know how it all yeah. works. You know, you got You got You got to be able to do something with it. I appreciate you thinking of me. Yeah, I want you to do that time. You like I said, you you dealing with a lot of this stuff. I don't in any of this stuff. So. Yeah, if you've got more, or if you come across it, you know. Oh, I get it. We had a bunch even Saturday night, and I didn't buy it because I just. I, yeah. It didn't bring nothing. How's your auction doing now with, you know, are you guys allowed to have full capacity? Like, how's all that going? It's, it's, uh, we're in Brown County. We got the approval from Brown County. The health department. Oh, that's good. As long as workers are main mask, we're outside. We tell everybody spread out, keep everything spread out, and we're good to go. I think it's, from what I understand, dealing with all this, it's more based on, um, county. Yeah. You know, Hammond County. My gosh, I don't think I'd want to do anything in Hammond County. Yeah. You know. You so know it's Brown too county. densely populated. Brown County is only any incidents. Hey, thanks, Mike. No problem. Let me know if you get any more. Yeah. Oh, I have the idea. Like I said, I'll start making more. All right. All right Take, care, man. Take care, man. All right, guys. I'm digging into all that video game stuff that I bought. I have tested 10 consoles so far, and only one has worked, unfortunately. Uh, none of the Game Boys or the Game Boy Advances or any of that stuff worked. Uh, one of the PS2s worked, but the Nintendo's didn't work. Uh, Xbox didn't work. Everything powered on, but like nothing would want to like play games, unfortunately. So that's all right. I'm definitely not mad at Mike or anything like that. Mike told me, he said these are, you know, untested. I think he maybe had powered some on, but that was it. And, you know, that's kind of why you just got to try to get stuff cheap a lot of times, you know, especially with older video games that have been sitting around in a while. They're dusty and dirty and they just go bad. So I'm selling a lot of this stuff as parts untested and I think I'll still 
make a little bit of money on the stuff. Mike, thank you again for the deal on the video games. Even though a lot of it doesn't work, I'm still happy with the buy and I hope we can do business together again sometime soon. It's Tuesday morning, I got a handful of eBay orders to ship out. First is right here. Went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit. This is a signed Pete Rose, sort of like a program from the Rose Roast back in 1978. Uh, signed by Pete, his wife at the time, Carolyn, Joe Nuxall, and Doug Flynn. This is a really interesting piece, but as far as selling it to the collector, it's a little odd because it, you know, it's a little hard to display and show the autographs. And anytime you get like multiple autographs on, you know, kind of an oddball piece, it actually, you know, I think it might devalue it a little bit as opposed to just one piece signed by one person. But it was still cool. I liked it. I got it as part of a book buy a while ago. I originally had this list of like 150 and over time I just kept lowering it, turning on best offers, and I just wasn't getting any bites. Uh, somebody sent me an offer of $30. I countered with $40 free shipping and they accepted. All right, next we're going to A6. I actually sold a number of things out of here. Let's see, uh, first is this Game Boy Advance. This is part of that video game buy you guys just saw me make. Um, there was like four or five Game Boys in there, and unfortunately none of them worked. But I was still able to sell them for parts. I sold this one as is for parts for $32.99 free shipping. Alright, I sold another Game Boy out of here. Let's see, here he is. This is the teal one. Uh, this also didn't work. It powered on at least, but it wouldn't play a game. Uh, this sold as is for $29.99 free shipping. Sold a GameCube game out of here. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. This sold for $17.99 free shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Drew who goes on YouTube by the Sunshine State Picker. Drew, thank you for the business. And if you guys want to see Drew's channel, I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, another game out of here that I sold. This is Wii Sports. It had a lot of scratches and I knew it wasn't going to work, so I just sold it as is, untested for $8.99 free shipping. This is going out to your name, Sean. Sean, thank you for the support and hope you get this thing cleaned up and it works well for you. Next is in C4. These are AV photo bulbs. I got these at the garage sale. I've got $1.25 into these. They sold for $11.99 free shipping. All right, next is over here in A1. There's another Wii Sports game. This one did work. This sold for $19.99 for shipping. Okay, last order has three items. They're all in A2. This is three Dale Jarrett cars. I got these last weekend at a garage sale. I've got a little over $6 each into them. These two sold for $32.98 plus shipping, and this one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I'll just be combining them all into one box and refunding the buyer the difference in the shipping cost. Those are all going out to your name, Ryan. Ryan, thank you so much for the support. I really hope you like those cars. Before I end this video, I got some viewer mail I want to open. First is from Greg. <laughs> from Pigs Fly. <laughs> that is a cool mug. Uh, if you guys don't know, there is some history to the flying pig in Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati used to be known as Porkopolis, or the poor capital of the world like over a hundred years ago, something to be known for, right? So it's always been a flying joke that, you know, all the pigs flew to heaven from Cincinnati. So flying pig, that is pretty cool. Uh, and he's got some business cards, resale traders, resaletraders.com. John found this mug at a garage sale in Illinois and thought of you, thought you might like it. First, I'd like to congratulate you with all your success with eBay and YouTube's milestone and to many more. Thank you for putting out great content and knowledge for beginners on eBay and YouTube. I've been in the reselling business since 2003. I've been selling on eBay since 2012, but just started full-time in 2020. We are also opening a teak booth as well on July 1st. Keep up the great work, Greg and Stacy. Greg and Stacy, thank you so much for that mug, and I really wish you guys luck with the antique booth. I hope it does awesome. All right, next is from Ryan. Dear John, I love your channel. You make great content and you're an honest reseller. I appreciate how real you keep it. I resell a lot of items, including vintage t-shirts. I found this shirt and figured it had to go to at least somebody back home in the Cincinnati area. I'm guessing it's a bit small for you, but feel free to sell it. And when you're in Teak Booze, I would love for someone local to appreciate it. Thanks again. Keep making great videos. Ryan. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lick it at a Conehead Dairy Whip. Galbraith Road, Cincinnati, Ohio. That is so cool. Thanks, Ryan. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.